Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you use a Chromebook and you want to do any video editing, you've probably been struggling to find a good video editor. I know I was for a long time. I did a video a couple years ago on using Kden Live in Linux on your Chromebook. And in that video, I was having trouble with the newer versions of Kden Live where they were flashing and basically just unusable. So I recommended using an older version. I gave a specific version in that video. Well, here we are a couple years later and I've worked around that flashing issue. It's still going on, but I found out what it is and how to work around it. So we can now use the latest version of Kden Live on your Chromebook. Today I'm going to show you how to install that. We're going to use the Flatpak method. So if you don't have Flatpak set up in Linux on your Chromebook, make sure you check out the video up in the corner and down in the description. Full tutorial to walk you through that. But we're going to be using Flatpak to install Kden Live. And then I'm going to show you that flashing issue and I'll show you how to work around that. And then I'll just do a, a quick edit or something just to show you that it's functioning. In addition, I'm also going to be editing this entire video in uh, Kden Live on this Chromebook. So stay tuned till the end and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so here we are on the Chromebook desktop and we are gonna get Kden Live installed. Now there's a few different ways you can do this. You can use a .deb file, you can use an app image, or you can use what we're gonna use today, which is a flat pack. Now flat pack doesn't come uh, pre-set up when you install Linux on your Chromebook. If you want a tutorial on how to do that, I recently did one. I'll put a link in the corner and down in the description. It'll walk you through it step by step. So if you don't have Flatpak set up on your system yet, go watch that and then come back here and uh, we'll continue on. So if you do have it set up, we're going to go out to flathub.org and we are just going to search for Kden Live. The same stuff I showed you in the tutorial, if you uh, followed my tutorial. Once you find the application you want, in this case, Kden Live, just scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna click copy on the install string here. So just copy that. And then let's go and open a Linux terminal. Once that's open, we're just gonna right click to paste that in there and hit enter. All that's doing is it's going out and finding Kden Live in the Flat Hub repository. And then it's gonna show everything that's gonna install as part of it. Part of this, just go ahead and hit yes. Everything is totally safe. There's no viruses or uh, nothing's illegal or anything. It's all completely free. So just let that run and install. I'm gonna let it install on my side and then uh, I'll come back and pick up the video. Okay, so Kden Live is all done installing. So we can go into our menu. And if we go down to Linux apps, we can see that there is an entry for Kden Live in there now. So we can click on that to launch the application. Now, this there may be an issue if you are using the GPU acceleration in Linux for on your Chromebook, you're gonna see an issue that I'm gonna show you now. If you're not using the GPU acceleration, you won't have this issue, so you might be able to skip past this part. But let's just load in a clip here real quick to show you this issue that I'm talking about. Give that a second to load. Okay, so now you can see what this issue is. If we just move the mouse around, you see that flashing, and as you move down to the timeline, the entire thing flashes, makes it almost impossible to work with. But I'm gonna show you an easy way to fix this. Again, it has to do with that uh, GPU acceleration mode. Now, one way to fix it is to turn off GPU for your entire Linux setup on Chrome OS, but if you have other applications that need it, like, games or anything that's that's more graphical like uh, if you're using blender or something like that you're going to need that gpu acceleration another way to do it is to turn it off per application or actually per launch now that involves typing a command in and then after you type in that command launch the application so that'll work but you have to type that command before every time you launch the application so I'm gonna show you another way to modify the menu entry so that you can uh, run this application without having to type that command and it's gonna do it for you. So the way we wanna do that is we wanna install another little application and we're gonna do sudo apt install menu libre. Now menu libre is just a menu editor for um, 
the menuing system in Linux, uh, most desktops in Linux, and it also works with the uh, Linux apps in Chrome OS. So now that we have that installed, we're gonna just type in Menu Libre to launch it. So this is just a very simple application that lets you modify some of the settings behind the applications that show up in the launcher. So we're gonna type in Kden Live, and we can see that the launcher entry is right here. And this command, you don't really need to worry about it too much, but this is what launches Kden Live. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this with another command. And I have that in my... So if we go back here for a second, you can see this user bin, flat pack run, branch, stable, blah, blah, blah. That's what launches the application. And you can see that we still have that piece of it in this command. What we're tacking on the beginning of it, this is what you would have to run manually every time to temporarily disable the GPU acceleration. But by doing this command, putting the bash dash C and then quotes, and then putting this command in and then ampersand, ampersand, and then the original launch command, what we're saying is to automatically run this command, and then as soon as that finishes, run the other command to launch Kden Live. It's gonna do that automatically for you, so you won't have to type this. Now I'll have this um, down in the description, uh, but if you just copy this, and we're just gonna paste that into the command, we just deleted that and just make sure there's no spaces or anything and right click and paste that in. So again, all we're doing is telling it to run this command, this export libgl always software equals one. We're gonna tell it to run that and then automatically run Kden Live. So go ahead and hit close there and make sure you hit save or else it won't save those changes. So now we got that change made, we can go back into our menu, launch our Kden Live. It's gonna launch that command to disable the GPU acceleration and then bring us into Kden Live. Let's just load a clip in again. And now you can see as we move the mouse around, we get no more flashing. This is a 4K clip, so you can see it's stuttering a little bit, but if we go into the project and then project settings and tell it to use proxy clips, we can then set a proxy clip for this, this clip that we're using. And the way proxy clips work is it just creates a clip of a lower resolution that's easier to edit. Uh, so you can work with that on your timeline, but then when you go to render your final video, it uses the full uh, resolution clips, not just the proxy clips. So it's gonna be the same quality, it's just gonna make editing a little bit easier. So let me let this uh, process for a second and then I'll come back and just show you a, a, how this works real quick with a real basic edit. Okay, that proxy clip is got done and you can tell by the big P on the corner of the, the clip preview. And if we come here, we can scrub through it and everything scrubs just fine. We can set an in point and an out point and drag that down to our timeline. And then click on our timeline and we can see it playing over there. Now we can make this play even a little bit better. Right now it's set to one to one resolution. You can set this down to a lower resolution. And on most Chromebook screens, you're really not gonna see that much of a difference. Um, I don't know how it looks in the video, but you know, on my side, it looks totally smooth. I don't know if it looks a little jitty, jittery in the video, but um, everything works uh, smoothly. This is going to depend on the type of Chromebook that you have. It's not going to run as well on a lower end Chromebook as it will on a high end Chromebook. This one that I'm using now is kind of a, a mid tier one. So that's all there is to it, to getting uh, Kden Live installed on here again, because we put that into the launch menu. You only have to make that change once and then every time you launch it, it's gonna you know, run it just fine. Okay, so now you have Kden Live installed on your Chromebook, the flashing is taken care of, and you can edit your videos till your heart's content. Now, how did it go with editing this video? I've edited this entire video up to this point, obviously, uh, on this Chromebook, and it actually went very, very well. I did have to create proxy files, for my video files, but once I created those proxies, 
the editing was relatively smooth and I was able to do my transitions and color correction and all that kind of stuff. It actually went pretty well. Uh, it's going to depend on your Chromebook. Like I mentioned, if you have a lower end one, it's not going to work quite as well. If you have a higher end one, it's going to work better than it does on mine. It all depends on the hardware, just like anything else. So hopefully you found this video useful or informative. If you did hit that thumbs up, if you really liked it and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So you know, when I put up some more, thanks for stopping by and I will see you in the next video.